Hi and good afternoon from the UK to wherever you are in the world. I hope that you're safe and well. And welcome back to DMAD Marine Mammal Research Association's free series of QGIS lessons. I'm Tim Aubrey and today we're going to be looking at how we can use open source XYZ tiles just to give our project a bit more context. If you've skipped ahead and haven't done lesson 4 then we're going to need to download and extract the files that we used in lesson 4. Uh, if you're watching from our website these can be found below but if not you're going to need to go to www.dmag.org.tr forward slash QGIS hyphen lesson hyphen four. This is going to be another relatively quick lesson and it's going to start where we left off last lesson and we've got our map of Turkey with our water lines, our water areas and our administrative areas and that's great except if we zoom out a little our map quite, not quite that much our map quite quickly loses context. We can see it's Turkey but we have no surrounding areas or any points of reference and one really quick way which is really easy to do in QGIS is to add XYZ tiles which are already built in. So if you come down the browser panel that we looked at last lesson, if you don't have the browser panel just right click and ensure that browser panel is ticked. So come down the browser panel until you get to XYZ tiles, it will probably be closed up like that. Click on this little arrow on the left hand side and it will say open street map. Now if we double click that and you'll see that OpenStreetMap, which is an open source mapping software, has been added to our map automatically. Um, unfortunately, it's been added on top of our previous map layer, so we just have to move it down below the rest of our work. But you can see now we have some real context to our work. We can see we've got Cyprus down here, we've got Greece to the west, the Black Sea to the north, and we've also got some of the sea zones the different areas so if we go down here to Fetier and go check in that sort of area and we can see that we've got the the boundary in between Turkey and Greece and um, that's the first thing I wanted to show you today the second thing is that we've only got OpenStreetMap as a, an option uh, and one of the things we can do is we can add more to these XYZ tiles so you can right click on it and go to new connection uh, and then you can call your connection whatever you want. I'm going to call this one Google Satellite because that's what we're going to use. And then you just need to enter the URL from where you're getting this data from. Um, I'm going to add a couple of options underneath this, this lesson on the website. So head over to the website if you're watching on YouTube. Uh, the address is underneath the video in the description and it should also be at the start of the video. And once we've added this URL, then we all we have to do is click OK. And with a bit of luck, yeah, you see we've got Google Satellite. I can drag that down and drop it into my map. And once again, it's come in on top of my data. But if I drag this underneath my data, Okay, maybe green wasn't the best of colors, but we can see, oh, I'm gonna zoom out. If we zoom into it, that'd be more helpful. And we can see how our data fits in with the satellite data. And this very quickly um, gives our project a lot more context. Zoom out a little there. So you can see how Turkey fits in again with the Black Sea and with, with Greece and Cyprus and things, um, Northern Africa. Um, and so that's a really quick thing we can do in QGIS to give our map a lot more context and just make it nice to look at, really. That's all for this lesson. Um, thank you, and we'll see you in the next lesson.